Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're gonna to show you how to set up a Ring Outdoor Smart Plug. So this is a neat device that allows you to remotely turn it on and off from the Ring app or from your phone once it's set up. So you can connect some lights, some outdoor lights to this, plug it in here, and then you can put it on a timer or turn on and off those lights from your phone. So it works on the Ring app. So in order to get this set up, you have to have the Ring app set up and installed. You also need to have a Ring Smart Bridge or a Ring Lighting Bridge, which is right here. So we've got one of those, and we've got another video that shows you how to set that up. So we've already set that up. You need to have that set up in order to get your outdoor smart plug set up. So check down in the description below we show you exactly how to get that bridge set up once you've got the ring bridge set up you're ready to go ahead and get this set up the ring outdoor smart plug so we're going to click up here in the top left and you've got a menu we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on set up a device now i've got some different options here and we're going to scroll down and what we want to click on is the outdoor smart plug which is this option down here so we're going to scroll down and it says where would you like to set up your outdoor smart plug we click on the address that is our location or we can go ahead and create a new location so i'm going to click continue here and then it says scan the code on the back of your ring product there's a qr code on the back of this so we're going to turn it over scan it with the camera on the phone and then it's going to get started setting up so we're going to scan that qr code right now the qr code scanned and now it is ready to connect to that smart bridge it says let's connect your outdoor smart plug to your ring bridge we've got our ring bridge right here it's already set up and installed and you can see the light is blue which means that it is in good condition and proper working order so we're going to click continue here and then we're going to need to connect the outdoor smart plug so what we need to do to get this set up is just plug this in. We've got an outlet right here. So we're gonna plug this in and let it power up so that the two devices, the ring bridge and the outdoor smart plug can connect. Now I'm just going to click continue. And while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna plug in this little light here so that we can see uh, when the outdoor plug is working and that uh, everything is functioning as it should. It says installing an update. So that was pretty quick. It actually connected uh, almost instantaneously. It was about 20 or 30 seconds to get that Ring Outdoor Smart Plug connected. So we'll just wait for the update to complete. The update completed on the Ring Outdoor Smart Plug and here it says learn more about lighting so we can group this. I'm gonna click got it, I understand that. It says do you wanna set up A and B outlets together? It says, if we set them up together, we'll add them to the same group with the same settings. So it does have two outlets on here. You've got an A and a B. Um, we're gonna leave them in one group so that they mirror the same settings. So if I had two strings of light connected, they'd both go on and off at the same time. But just know that you can set them up as different devices so you can control the A and B outlet uh independently of each other if you had two different light strands that you wanted to connect to this or two different devices that you wanted to turn on and off at different times so we're going to just click set up together here and uh it says add the outlets to a group we're going to call this backyard here and then backyard outlet a that's good for me and backyard outlet b that's good for me as well i'm going to click continue it says connecting your outdoor smart plug to your ring bridge it says screw the outdoor plug into the wall. So on the side here, there are two little screw holes that you can put this onto a wall. And if you can, it's great if you can uh, put this so it's facing down so that water doesn't get into the outlets. That's the intention there. Uh, since we're just setting it up inside for right now, I'm gonna click continue. And then uh, everything is connected. So we're all set. I'm gonna click I'm done. And now we are all set. It says you can create a schedule. I'm gonna skip that for now and refine your settings. I'm gonna click I'm done. So now that we've got the Ring Outdoor Smart Plug set up and connected, we can control the lights from the Ring app. We're just gonna click on the lights logo here, and then you can see we've got an outlet A and outlet B. That is this device, A and B. I'm not sure which one is which, but we'll find out here in a minute. And then we've got them grouped together uh, backyard, so that's gonna turn both of them on or off at the same time. So let's just try backyard first and uh, see if we can get it turned on and off here. 
I've got a little light here and you can see that turned on the Ring Outdoor Smart Plug. So let's try turning it off. And then uh, let's just click on Outdoor Outlet B and see if that turns on the light there. No, that does not. But I did hear the outlet go on. So Outlet A is this one down here. Outlet B is this top outlet. Um, so we're just going to turn them both off here. And there we go. So we can now control these from our phone and you can do all kinds of different things with them. Let's click on the uh, backyard lights here and then we can dive into the settings here. We can click on either one of these outlets or click on the settings here. And uh, what we can do is set up schedules. So I could add a light schedule, uh, nighttime, morning, evening, or custom. And if I just click on one of these, let's put evening on. Uh, you can choose which one you wanna have turn on. And then you can say turn on at dusk, turn lights off at dawn. So kind of a neat feature there. And then you can also even choose a specific time if you want with scheduling. So let's go back here. We're gonna get out of schedules. Uh, we're just gonna leave. And then I'm gonna leave that. And you could set up a light schedule for both outlets at the same time, or just one of them if you wanted. So that's a nice feature. And then if we click here in the general settings, you can rename these. You could call them something other than outlet B and outlet A, uh, or you can edit the group. So pretty neat. Uh, I'm actually gonna use this outside. We've got some lights over our patio, so I can set this up so it'll turn on at dusk and then turn off at let's say, 9, 10 p.m. Uh, or whenever we're gonna go to bed so I'm not running those lights all night. And if I wanna turn them back on, I can do so from here. Now what's really neat about having the Ring Smart Plug or any of the Ring devices uh, that have lighting controls is that they can work with your Ring doorbell or your Ring security system so that when the security system is triggered or the doorbell is triggered by motion, you can have these lights automatically go on which I think is really the value proposition of the outdoor smart plug or any of the ring smart lighting is that when something's tripped motion detection wise and or uh, if the alarm is tripped, you can have all the lights go on outside and then be able to see what's happening and going on uh, when that motion is detected. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up your Ring Outdoor Smart Plug. A uh, neat little device. One thing that I think is really cool about it is it is pretty hefty. Of a lot of the other smart plugs and smart outlets I've tested out, uh, they're kind of lightweight. Um, this does feel like it has some heft to it. I don't know if that means that it's any more quality than anything else, uh, but it does seem like it would be fairly durable outside. And then it's got these nice plugs here or plug covers that uh, you can use to cover up those outlets when you're not using them. So thank you for watching this video. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any of the links below if you wanna support us. Thank you.